Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends all across the globe today, and welcome back for another Animal Prediction DLC video. Yes, I always love doing these with you guys. They're always so fun to get into. Now, this week I wanted to do something a little out of the ordinary. Listen, guys, I know how much Frontier loves their clone animals. I mean, look at the Malayan tape here. They didn't even change the model on that one. But of course, there is a lot and lot of potential when it comes to clone animals and getting these guys in the game would be impressive for Frontier. Not only just because, you know, I just really do like all the choices in here. There are a lot of integral zoo animals, but for our friends who don't use mods, yes, I see you guys out there. Listen, I understand completely the vanilla experience. So getting you guys the necessary animals, the easy animals at that for your games is important to me so advocating for a lot more clone animals is something that i really do want to do with this pack alone so going forward we're just gonna hit right up with the animal pack number one on our list we have the american black bear now these guys are extremely common where i'm from i love seeing these guys they're probably one of my favorite bears just because i don't know their coloration is just very unique they're all black they don't have the little chest thing that the asiatic black bears do but they do have this beautiful orange snout. And I don't know, they just look really, really impressive. And bears are just really awesome creatures to get. Nonetheless, I always will advocate for getting all the bear species in game. So getting an American black bear as a clone would be a wonderful, wonderful addition. Now, moving on from there, we have the dromedary camel. Yes, I know a lot of people are advocating extremely for this guy, and I understand why. They are one of your token zoo animals. While Roger Williams does have Bactrian camels now, we used to have dromedaries, as well as a lot of zoos around here do have dromedaries, as well as around the world. They're probably one of the most common camel types that you will find anywhere. They're used a lot more so for, you know, transport, domestication, even milk in some cases. And I just think getting these guys in game would be swell, as well as a wonderful African addition to the roster. And speaking of African additions, I also have the Nile Crocodile. These guys are pretty badass. And even though Frontier makes sure to put the most amount of love and dedication into all of their reptiles, the Nile Crocodile really isn't that too different from the rest of the Crocodilians in game. So I'm counting it in this little list over here. I really do like these guys. So getting these guys in this pack would be wonderful as well. Now moving on from there, I also have the Scimitar Horned Oryx. These guys are beautiful. While they don't really look like Gemspock, they're pretty much the same as Gemspock, just with a different coat of paint on top of them. They're really beautiful. I've seen them many times before. And there's actually one in Lupa Zoo that only has one horn, so I call it a little unicorn. But with all that being said, they're a beautiful animal. They're critically endangered, which is wonderful for all of your conservation points. And I don't know, they're just a really, really special blended desert species to have. Now moving on from there, I also have the American Flamingo. I love my flamingos, guys. I love them so much, and the American Flamingo is probably my favorite one out of all of them. So these guys are bright pink. They're probably what you think of whenever you think of flamingos right off the bat, and they're perfect. So I really do love these guys so much. And getting everyone the ability to place them in game outweighs my desire for my download points and all that kind of stuff when it comes to Nexus, but getting those guys would be wonderful, as well as the Red Fox. The Red Fox would essentially be a clone of the Arctic Fox. I would love to get these guys in the game just because they're so adorable. I know all my Fox fans in the comments down below definitely do love their Foxes. If you're a true Fox fan, just hashtag Fox Power. I don't know, just whatever you guys want to comment down below, but hey, they'd be a wonderful addition to this little roster as well. In addition to that, I also have the Tufted Capuchin. The Tufted Capuchin is probably one of my favorite kind of Capuchin species. They're just really adorable, and they have this beautiful chocolatey kind of variation on their fur. And I don't know, they're just a really, really unique species. If you guys have ever seen Night at the Museum, the Capuchin in that is actually a Tufted Capuchin, I think. Yeah, he is. So moving on from there, for the exhibit animal, I also have the Painted Terrapin. The Painted Terrapin was actually planned 
before Planet Zoo's Aquatic Pack until they changed it to the Diamondback Terrapin, but I would definitely love to see Frontier rehash their files and actually implement this guy going forward. Now moving on from there, I also have the Scene Ray Pack. Not really too strong on this one because I would love to get more clones than less. Just because, I don't know, it just makes it a lot easier for modding as well as getting you guys new species. But moving on from here, number one, American Black Bear. No, no, like, fight in that. He's got to be in this pack. But of course, moving on from there, our first match of the night. Do, do vote down below which one you guys would prefer more. I have the Dromedary Camel versus the Harbor Seal. Yeah, the Harbor Seal is really freaking cute. I do love the Gray Seal. I think they're kind of goofy looking. But getting a Harbor Seal would be wonderful. They're just so freaking cute. And I feel like Frontier would absolutely nail it in that department. So definitely do let me know which one you guys would prefer down below. And moving on from there, we have the Battle of the Birds. We also have the American Flamingo versus the Emperor Penguin. I know a lot of people don't really know this, but Emperor Penguins really aren't that found too common in captivity. But they're kind of an essential zoo animal game, game animal, I don't know. Uh, just rearrange those words, I'm sure it'll make sense. But getting those guys in the game would be great. But let me know what you guys think, American Flamingo or Emperor Penguin. Then moving down from there, we also have the Tufted Capuchin up against the Maasai Giraffe. Obviously, I'd say my love for the Tufted Capuchin, but I also love the Maasai Giraffe just because we have them at Roger Williams. Our boy Jaffa is a Maasai Giraffe, so I love him for that. But they're also very much more unique than the reticulated that we have in game. They have a lot more of like a chocolatey kind of patterns. Um, in addition to that, they also are, I don't know, they're just a lot more splendid. They're kind of like patterns are a lot more splotchy, if that makes sense. Once you actually see the picture up here, you'll understand what I mean. But moving on from there, I also have the green anaconda. Why did we get the yellow anaconda when the green anaconda is right there? That's my question. But with that all being said, that is pretty much it for the animal choices for the scenery pack. And listen, just general zoo props as scenery. Just give us the most generic things possible and I will be happy. Just give us clones of the in-game pieces, but in flexi color. That would be great, especially the new world pack. But with that being said, that is pretty much all I have for this video right here. I understand it was a little bit of a roll of the dice kind of video, but hey, I hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. Let me know your choices down below for what you would make for the clone DLC, and let me know what you think of mine as always, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.